there friends, my name is Nikki and I'm so excited you're joining us today for Church at Home. We're continuing our series all about the greatest adventure you'll ever go on, your adventure with Jesus. And that means your life with Jesus in it. It's full of ups and downs and there are amazing things in store. But the best part is that we always have someone to help us out and guide us on our adventure. Our big idea tells us who it is. It says, the Holy Spirit guides me on my adventure with Jesus. God literally sent us a helper to give us his power and to guide us when we believe in Jesus. And our Bible verse actually reminds us of that. It's found in Joshua 1, 9 and it says, this is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let's sing that out now as we think about how God is the one with us because of the Holy Spirit. This is my command. is such a great reminder that we can be strong and courageous because when we believe in Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit helping us out on our adventure. He is always with us and today's Bible story is going to show us what happened when God first sent the Holy Spirit to the early believers. It was pretty amazing. Check this out to see what happened. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, do you hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. 
Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Wow, even though Jesus was going back to heaven, he didn't leave the believers on earth all by themselves. The Holy Spirit appeared to them as flames above their heads, and that's pretty awesome. The Holy Spirit helped the believers as they spread God's love and message to others and started to build what we now call the church. And the Holy Spirit helps you too when you believe in Jesus. He's with you on your adventure with Jesus, helping you know what is right, make good choices, and giving you wisdom from God. He even gives you the courage and the words to share his love with other people. That's some amazing power. Caroline has a guide of her own on today's episode of Vlog Vibes. Let's see what it is and what it can teach us about the Holy Spirit. Watch this. What's up all you explorers out there? My name is Caroline and I'll be your guide. I'm going on an adventure and I'm taking you with me. Each week, I'll be taking on a new challenge from scavenger hunts to escape rooms and I'll be documenting everything with the best gear around. This is Vlog Vibes. Hey guys, check out my new toy. How awesome is this? Okay, okay, initiate landing sequence. Here we go. Down. Down, and landing. Oh, that was awesome. This drone is gonna take me on adventures that I never even dreamed were possible. You guys should see the range on this thing. It is awesome. I can't wait to play with this a little bit more before today's episode. Here's the plan. Here in California, we have the best beaches. So what I wanted to do today is go down to the beach and get three different pictures of three different seaside locations. Now, here's the issue. We're on a bit of a time crunch. So I'm gonna need this drone's help to help me get all of the pictures in time. And so we don't have a lot of time to lose. Let's get ahead to the beach. Okay, so we made it. We're equidistant from all three photo location spots. That's the cliffs, the harbor, and the jetty. Now, if I've done my timing right, then I have about 10 minutes for my drone to get up in the sky before the battery dies. So now, we have no time to waste. Let's get started. Set my camera down, right? Let's get this thing in the sky. All right, it's time to go. All right, now we gotta head right towards the cliffs, our first spot. Oh, look at how awesome that is. That's so cool. Oh, here we come, we're coming up on the cliffs. Oh, that's so sick. Look at that view, that's amazing. Wow, okay, I'm gonna take a photo right about here. 
Awesome. That's so cool. All right, my battery's at 80%. We gotta get moving to the next location before I run out of battery. Okay, I gotta be extra careful. I can't crash this thing or it'll land in the water. This is awesome. We're gonna head over to the jetty now. This is such a cool view. It's one of my favorite spots. Okay, carefully getting over there. Oh wow, look at how cool that is. This is awesome. I'd never be able to see this view without this drone. This is so cool. All right, let's take a photo right around here. And there you go. Oh, that's such a cool picture. Okay, I'm going really high. We're gonna leave the jetty now and head on over the harbor. It looks like I'm at about 60%, so I gotta head over there pretty quickly. Okay, wow, this is a little bit farther than I thought it would be, but that's okay. We can make it, we can make it. Start heading that way. I gotta be extra careful here. I don't wanna crash it into the water. Okay, all right, now we're getting a 50%. We gotta get there quick. I wish this thing would fly faster, come on. Okay, now we're getting to the harbor. The wind's really fighting me. This is draining my battery quick. Okay, I, I don't think I have enough battery to get an up close photo even though I really want one. That would be so cool. Okay, we're just gonna stay up high. That's fine, we can just take a high up photo. That's okay, it's still cool. Okay, here we go, and there we go. Oh, look at that picture, that's so cool. Look at that view, that's insane. Wow, oh my gosh, I completed all three of my tasks. That's so cool, it's awesome. All right, I think it's time to head back now before my battery dies. I only have 35% left, so here we go. Well, I didn't quite complete the challenge because my battery was about to die, but that's okay. I still got all three pictures. The last one wasn't exactly the photo I would have hoped for, but I really like how it turned out. What really matters today is that I was able to take in some really incredible views, thanks to my trusty drone being by my side on the adventure. I couldn't have done and seen all those amazing things without it today. When we become Christians, God gives us his helper called the Holy Spirit to be our sidekick on our adventure too. The Holy Spirit is God living inside of us. It is how he is with us during our day-to-day -day lives. The Holy Spirit guides us on our adventure and helps us know what God wants us to do, what the right choice is, and helps us say and do things to show others God's love. Today, my drone helped guide me to different beautiful places. It was with me the whole way, going ahead of me and showing me amazing things I wouldn't have been able to see on my own. In a similar way, the Holy Spirit helps guide us through the different adventures in our life, showing us the things that God wants us to see and understand. With the Holy Spirit, we're able to do and see things we wouldn't be able to on our own, like see the needs of people around us, do amazing things for Jesus, like help others and tell them about God, and so much more. Think about the believers in today's Bible story. When they received the Holy Spirit, they were able to go out and do amazing things for Jesus because he was literally living inside them, guiding them and helping them along the way. So as you go through your life, remember that the Holy Spirit is God's way of being with you and guiding you. Thanks for tagging along with me on today's adventure. I hope you all enjoyed it. We've got another episode planned for next week, so I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, that drone was amazing. With the drone's help guiding their adventure, Caroline was able to get shots she could have never gotten on her own. It helped her do something amazing and see beautiful views that she wouldn't have been able to see without it. And with the Holy Spirit guiding us, we can do amazing things we could never do on our own. He helps us know and understand more about God, make the right choices, and even be brave to go out and do some amazing things for Jesus. And remember, the Holy Spirit can live in you and help guide you on your adventure with Jesus too. All you have to do is make the choice to believe in Jesus and follow him. If you've already done that, the Holy Spirit lives in you and that's amazing. Well friends, it's been so great hanging out, singing, and learning how God sent us a helper to guide us on our adventure through life. When we believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit can help us know and do things that we can never on our own. I'm so glad you watched Church at Home with us today. We'd love to see you in person at church too. Check out our campus locations and find a Saddleback Kids near you. And don't forget, we have some awesome activity sheets, coloring pages, and even some stuff for your parents online at saddlebackkids.com. Check it out and we'll see you here next week. Bye. Oh.